Next up, we're off to California in the USA to find out about Shapeshifter Surf products. I move my bones in the red heat. I chance my hand in the red heat. I shake the ground in the red heat. I move my bones to the bad beat. The company is the brainchild of David Barr, a veteran surfer with decades of experience and one incredibly bright and innovative idea. We'll let the man himself tell you more about just what he's brought to the surfboard shaping table. I started surfing in 72 when I was 11 years old. Um, fell in love with it immediately and uh, that's all I wanted to do, was just surf. I got into competing and, uh, you know, went through the amateur ranks and became one of the top amateur surfers in America, then one of the top professional surfers in America and, uh, you know, decided to, to go out on the world tour and, and uh, chase championship dreams. Hello, Bar Designs. Shapeshifter, you want 250 boards tomorrow? Well, actually, I started shaping when uh, when I was 18 years old. Uh, before I actually um, started traveling on the world tour, you know, I was really into it. I got really fired up on it. Loved designing, loved making surfboards. But once I decided that I was going to chase the world tour, um, it just I didn't have the time to do it. I needed, you know. It, surfing and and traveling um, just took all my time so I had to put it on the back burner and I knew that you know once my my professional career was done that I would uh, eventually come back to shaping you know as uh, as a career as a, as a way to make a living you know for myself and my family The, the whole shapeshifter concept really came from from shaping and and customers being indecisive about what they wanted um, as far as tails. It was always tails. It was like I don't know what tail I want. You know, you, you'd get one guy that orders a squash tail, and then he'd call you six hours later and say, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I want a swallow tail, or you know, maybe I want a, a round pin tail, and you know. About that time, I was like, God, it would be great if we could come up with a board where you could, you could change your tails, you know, and have a customer be able to have, you know, five or six different tails, um, depending on conditions and what he wanted to ride. So that's really where the concept began. And this was years ago, maybe, you know, 15 plus years ago. And at the time, we didn't have the, the materials or the technology to build something that would be functional. And about about four years ago, I, I you know, kind of re-looked at that whole concept and went, you know what? With uh, materials the way they are, with uh, manufacturing the way it is, um, this is doable now. And so I put my head down and got back into it and um, was really amazed at, at how quickly it came together. Hi, Dave Barr here, Del Mar, California at the Boardroom Show, here to launch Shapeshifter. I've surfed since I was a little kid, avid surfer, and uh, I'm traveling since I was 18. And I happened to meet, I, I met David about four years ago in Central America on a surf trip, and he was doing uh, performance runs and testing 
and I saw this these surfboards on the beach. They were, you know, prototypes at the time, and I couldn't believe how the concept in itself was just remarkable. And since I travel quite a bit, I'm always two inches short or two inches long, and I never have the right board. And I saw that Shapeshifter with would, would, would be able to bridge the gap, you know, to, to that inch that you need or the two inches that you need. I manufacture for some of the biggest companies in the world, like Home Depot and Lowe's and whatnot, over in Asia. So I've had experience in, you know, setting up manufacturing and, and going through patent and trademarking. And that's what David needed. David's a great idea guy, but uh, as far as his experience um, with, with manufacturing and trademarking on a large scale was what he needed me to do. And so I was able to source and we as a, com uh, a joint effort were able to tie all the loose ends together and, and take this from an idea making you know one, one at a time to something that we can mass produce and have tolerances that were with, within the, the, the range that we needed you know, for the surfing industry. I think the possibilities are pretty much like limitless. I, once people see like what it is and people start catching on to like what you can do with one board, I think it's something that should go like global to everyone, the whole surf community around the world. I mean, you really get a chance to learn your equipment and and just have fun with surfing again. You know, you're you're psyched every session. Your one board just gives you so many different options. It's not like you know, you, you can go out and have a different feeling and have a new, like, fun love of, like, a different board every time. So, I mean, the possibilities are, are endless. Hopefully every shaper and every brand will have their model and people will be psyched and everyone will be ripping and all different types of boards. You know, the first the time I looked at it, I just went, how, why, why did it take so long to do this? It's such an obvious innovation and they've done it in such a clean fashion and such an attractive fashion. It's like, I can't believe they didn't do this sooner. Right now, the surfboard design world is more diverse than it's been in many, many years. With all surfers, especially younger surfers, are trying all different kinds of boards. But let's face it, it gets expensive. You want to try, hey, gee, I'd like this board if it was a swallowtailer, or I'd like to try this board as a pintail. Surfers, especially young surfers, are more open-minded, I think, than they've been in many, many years. This fits perfectly with that new sort of aesthetic that you can try your board you know, you can try it in many different ways without having to order a new board. And we all know the curse of trying to replace a good board. So you got a board you really like and you think, you know what, I love this board, but I might I want it in a swallowtail. You're never gonna get the same board. Now you can try different tails on the exact same board, which really is the only way you can test a board. I've been to all these shows. I've seen everything that's come through this hall. I think this is one of the greatest innovations that I've seen yet. Shapeshifter is a technology that is available to any brand, manufacturer, or shaper on the planet. We have um, production kits, we have tutorials, um, and we're encouraging any brand, any manufacturer to get involved and bring a few models of Shapeshifter to your consumers for a number of reasons, you know, for the ability to have um, so many design options, the options of changing so many things about the board, um, but also as a learning tool, you know, an educational tool for surfers that want to want to learn more about their surfboards, want to understand what different tails do um, to the perform to the performance aspects of their board. The technology that I'm bringing to the surfing industry right now is is nothing like anything that's out there. I mean, the ability to change six different tail designs in one board, um, the ability to um, have a whole nother board inside of, of being able to change all those tails out. Um, it's truly, from what I've seen, um, the world's most versatile surfboard. What a jaw-dropping piece of inspiration and innovation David Barr is bringing to the surf world. 
and one we're sure will be a big success.